Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, just thought I'd do a quick uh, update what's happening here. Is, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just doing, um, I've got a, a 3060 Ti limit hash rate running in this Dell XPS. Um, and I'm just doing some benchmarking in NiceHash. I'm just benchmarking the algorithms um, of uh, G minor uh, versus MB minor. I'm just trying to see um, which, uh, um, which minor is the probably the, the most profitable algorithms, and I'm going to then just stick with one. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a bit of testing on that. Now, it's a little bit of a backstory. Is um, yeah, I bought this Dell XPS, um, and I took out the. Um, it was a non-limited hash rate 3060 Ti, which I'm mining on another machine. Um, and yeah, I've just got a, uh, a limited hash rate 3060 Ti on there mining away. However, I've built. Um, a, uh, a full rig to do um, RTX 3060 Ti's limited hash rate and it's um, up and running, got four cards on it. Um, pretty happy with that so far. Now, um, I picked up a, um, a li limited hash, no, no, sorry, I picked up a 3070 um, online a few days ago. Um, I'm pretty sure it is a full hash rate card. Um, so I'm just going to unbox it today, um, check out the card, make sure it's uh, physically good. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in into the Dell XPS um, desktop machine and, and run it in there, just test it out. And I'm going to bring the, um, the 3060 TR limit hash and put it onto the, um, the, the rig that's running all the other 3060 Ti's limited hash rates. So yeah, so I just thought I'd um, do this with you guys. Um, Let's, let's just do so a little bit of unboxing here. There you go. If you can see that, okay. It's just my own records. I'll blur that out. planning to build a um, a my first AMD rig and I'm, I'm at the moment I'm buying some RX 580s um, triple fan twin fans um, yeah so this is actually I actually got the wrong box I'll go and get the other one in a second and we'll get back to um, what we are planning to do but yeah let's have a quick this now while we're here eh, guys we all look, like love looking at um, graphics cards don't we and this is actually the first AMD card I've ever brought so it's um, yeah good to share with you guys so there you go looks nice quite distinctive design you know after um, pretty much buying all um sealed after all my rigs so far um, I'm running with close to two um, giga hash have been in video cards so yes yeah, so this is my my first ever um, AMD card. It's actually really big. It's I guess it's a quite simple. It's just you know you've got the the main card there, and it's kind of almost just got two fans strapped to it. Um, you know I think compared to the uh, Nvidia cards, you know where you get the whole surround around it, it sort of seems a little bit more basic. But yeah, look, this looks like a really really good condition card. Um, hoping to mine. So I'm going to build a whole rig with this, and hoping to mine. I guess around 30 or just over 30 mega hash um, and hopefully get some reasonably low watts with that with a little bit of overclocking so yeah so yeah it looks really nice quite excited um, my first ever um, car looks like might have been that screw might come off there but hey, all good we'll 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 pick this up in another um, series where we will build um, the AMD rig together so yeah so yeah, let's um, get that back in the box so what I'll do I'll just pause it there and we'll come back in a couple of seconds. All right, welcome back guys. So hopefully we've got the right box this time now. So it's uh, just put that there from my own personal records. I'll blank that one out. Again, as you've watched um, you know, several of my videos, you'll probably know that um, I always um, unbox 
the video just to um, protect the cells, make sure that the dirt is completely wet, and there's no issues of it. So, yeah, so hopefully this time we've got the, um, the 30, should be a 3070, um, uh, a Dell 3070 from the Dell Alienware, so it's sort of their OEM um, models, um, nothing fancy. Um, but, so I, I, already, I, did, I did purchase a Dell XPS with a um, full hash rate um, 3060 Ti in it, so I'm hoping this will be a um, similar kind of build. So. Right. Right. very basic design just the, I guess it's got these sort of grooved um, sort of pack across the top twin fan single eight pin which I love just makes things a lot easier um, yeah nothing here again there's nothing I can tell here whether it's going to be a full hash rate or limited hash rate so there's gonna be a little bit of a leap of faith here <laughs> we'll go on that journey together but yeah it looks like a nice clean card I think the owner said they never actually used this. Um, I think they just pulled it out and they had another card in there. So it's, um, yeah, it's quite nice, quite nice solid back plate. And to be honest, the, these are the Dell, um, the Dell, the own Dell ones that go into their XPS um, or the G5s or the Alienware machines. So um, yeah, I, I actually quite like them. I think I think the design is um, quite unique. Um, it's maybe not as flashy as, you know, if you look at size of those MSI cards in there you know flashing away but um yeah I, I, I quite like this and to be honest if fingers crossed it hashes at 62 then this will be um yeah a great buy and a good a good addition to to the farm so yeah so um yeah just doing a visual inspection it looks really good everything looks really neat and straight um so yeah no, no complaints from the physical inspection unboxing um so what we'll do is i will um I'm, I'm gonna, so what we'll do, I'll show you guys is, as I said earlier, I'm now, I'm gonna remove the, um, the 3060 Ti limited hash rate from this Dell XPS, um, and then I'm gonna put the 3070 into there, and then I'm gonna pull the 3060 Ti across over here. So, so what I'll do, um, I'll save you, um, me sort of jumbling around and just taking this out and, and putting this in. So what I'll do is once it, once this one is into this machine, um, we'll come back and, and we'll see how we go. All right, catch you shortly. Yeah, so we just um, just dropped in the 3070 and I've got the, uh, there's the 3060 Ti Limited Hash. It's a Galax um, brand. And yeah, we're just, um, just got the 3070 in, and um, yeah, sometimes I find the um, the Dells can be a bit sensitive when you're changing graphics cards, but so far so good. But yeah, I'll I'll get this um, uh, just uh, bedded in, and um, oh, yeah. oh, I don't know if that always I don't want it. It's trying to stop. I don't want to start mining until the um, the card's been recognised, and uh, so yeah, we'll come back shortly, guys. Alright guys, so I've just um, I've just put the fans back on there just to suck out some air, and um, yeah, I've just run it on quick miner, quick, quick miner because um, this looks to be a full hash card. I went to um, I went to tech power up, and it's got the GA one hundred and four um, variant chip in there, so I think that's the non-limited hash rate. Um, yeah, and I've just so I've just gone into nice hash, and I've got it up here. Let's just see what we've got here. Um, 
Yeah, XPS, yeah, this one. Here we go, yep, so it looks like it's, yeah, going to about 57 mega hash, so that's great. So it's definitely not a, um, a limited hash rate card. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to get a little bit more juice out of it. Let's just go here. Oh, yeah, it looks like we, we're, um, yeah, that's, that's great. 61, 59, looks like it's just um, sort of sounding itself out a little bit. Yeah. Let's, uh, I always hate nice hash. Um, I think I can change the settings, but he always comes in um, on the, uh, what's it, the optimize function, and it just whacks the, um, Wax the power right up and it's very inefficient. Oh yeah, that's great. Look at the speed, so we've got 60, 60 mega hash there. That's brilliant. Okay. Very nice. So yeah, so that's what we're getting just touching 1.7 giga hash. Um, one thing I have noticed on nice hash is 1.7 or 1.69 giga hash is all my cards which I've got running on quick miner, uh, mining Ethereum. But these four cards here, on which is literally that's on the Raven coin rig here, those did not add up the hash. And I guess as well, they're on different algorithms. So I guess in a way, um, that speed there is just my Ethereum hash rate. But I do have extra hash here um, running on Raven coin. So I, in theory, um, I'm a little bit higher than that. So I just saw the hash have dropped a little bit. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, oh, good, cool. Let's just refresh that. Oh, looks like a rig is dropping down a little bit somewhere. Um, but anyway, look, the good news is, guys, this. Um, this Dell OEM 3070 seems to be a full hash rate card. Um, yeah, great news. So what we'll do is I'm going to get this um, this 3060 Ti LHR onto this rig. So what I'll do is I'll just pause here and we'll get this card. Um, I'll probably yeah I'll probably just put it down here in the middle here and we'll come back very shortly. Okay, welcome back. Good news team. We've got the five cards on. Um, one thing I've just learned, so a tip here, um, and look, not as, I guess, strict as the 30, 60, 12 gig Nerf versions. Um, remember those with the, you know, to put the 40, 70 driver on there. Um, you had to make sure that the um, PCI lane speed was version three. Um, when I added the fifth car in there, it actually booted through the BIOS a few times, um, and it, it didn't register my SATA, um, my SSD. Um, so I was a bit worried about that. Um, but all I did is I changed the PCI lane speed in the BIOS to version three. Um, so I didn't record that when I was doing it. And then it booted up fine. And you can see here now, we do have three 3060 Ti's um, yeah, loaded up in the machine. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Let me just show you guys. You've got two up there and the three down there now. Um, and um, yeah, well, I, I often just get a torch out. I just find it's quite good to sort of get in there and you, you know, especially when you're doing some of the wires and that, just to give you a bit of extra um, light. So, so yeah, guys, this, this is um, pretty successful so far. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have a little play around now with, um, with nice hash and just see if I can optimize these settings. So it's, um, yeah, so guys, I'll, I'll um, come back shortly and give you an update.